First up is the M1 release. Uh, this is the same M1. If you don't know, uh, if you're not familiar with Markham, this is a flasher. They are a brand. They, they were actually my first uh, flasher was in M3. I think it was a TI back then, um, but I had one of these. It's just the flasher dial that you'll see here. And then you've got your gain knob, you've got your range, a zoom and an IR. So what's cool about the M1 is that it does have the zoom window on it, which not a lot of the entry level uh, flashers do. So these are all flashers. These are not graph style. They don't have charts. They don't have any of those things on them, um, but that's what th these are that we're gonna talk about. So M1 is their introductory line. Then it goes to M3 that we're gonna talk about next and then M5 after that. The M1 head unit itself, the actual chart plotter, nothing is different about it. So I'm not gonna talk about uh, the M1 specifically, but what they launch are two new variations, which you're gonna see are the same on the M3 and the M5. M1X, ultimate budget friendly option. Uh, it's designed to provide exceptional value without compromising on performance. Priced at an attractive MSRP of $269.99. All right, cool. So, so what's the deal with it? Everything here is the same as the, the previous M1, except for battery flexibility ready for your battery of choice. The way that they sell it is you now get to choose. You get to choose between an SLA, sealed lead acid. So those are the old school ones that you could buy at like Cabela's or wherever for like 15, 20 bucks. You know, the old heavy batteries that used to be in all the flashers, still are in some of them. Or you can choose one of Markham's Life PO4 lithium powered batteries. But the idea here is that you don't get a battery with it. That's how they get the price point down. It's $269.99. But you can see here, you have a shuttle that comes with the transducer, and then it comes with the M1 head unit. That's it. There's space on the back for you to put on whatever battery that you want. Um, so you can buy a cheap $15, $20 battery. If you're just getting into it, you're not really worried about the, the weight. You have the ability to charge it, um, or you're not going to be out for more than a few hours. Uh, go ahead and use a sealed lead acid. They're super cheap. Otherwise, go like PO4. There's a lot of great brands out there. So that is what the X series is. Uh, the M3, I'm going to jump to, and then I'll get to the, the other version, is that a press release that they combine between, you can see the M3 and the M5 together. M3 lineup now includes the M3X model, offering flexibility in selecting the optimal power source. And it says the same thing for that five. So they've got the M5X, the M3X, and the M1X without battery. So the M1X, $269.99. M3X, again, just the head unit and the shuttle, $399.99. You do get a few other features on it. The M5X is $499.99. I'll maybe do a video that compares what is the difference between the M1, M3, M5. We don't have enough time today to get into it. Now let's get into what the LR is. So the LR has two things that are, you could call unique. The carrying case. So this is the Markham Romer case that I believe they launched last year. It might have been the season before, but I for sure know that they had this out last year. It's this zip up bag. It's actually a really nice bag and it has a spot for your cord management inside of it. And it has a spot for your battery right here in the middle that actually fits lengthwise inside of the bag. And it includes the 12 volt, 10 amp hour Life PO4 battery and charger, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that battery. It's a great battery. It's a Life PO4 battery. 12 volt, 10 amp hour is more than enough for this thing to last you an entire day out on the ice. It's a basic, simple flasher uh, for the M1. And that is that is the same thing that you're going to see on the 3LR and the M5LR. It's the same head unit that they always had before. It's just the way that they packaged it with the Romer uh, shuttle that you can see here. You've got one side for your charging cord to go into. You can easily charge into it. You got your fuse here. And then on the other side, you've got where you can put your transducer in there in that pocket. And then inside of this little black spot here is where the lithium battery is and those cords go through. So this thing, this thing, the shuttle is cool, uh, but just so you know, there's not really anything new that Markham has launched this year. It's just the way that they're packaging their products. So if you hear about the M3X, the M5LR, LR just means it comes with that lithium Romer shuttle and the X means X, no battery included, go buy your own, but it's cheaper. Maybe you're getting, you know, maybe you're getting into the M5 from a previous version uh, that you had of a flasher and you already have a nice battery that you want to put in it. 
then maybe the X series is good for you because you already have the battery. There's no sense in buying a lead acid battery. That could be the right route for you. The only other thing that Markham has this year is the Explore HDL. So this is one of their cameras that you can see here. In what they had the Explore HD before, they didn't have the HDL. The L stands for lithium that you can see on the screen. So again, this is the Explore unit that now has a lithium battery in it. The only difference between this and the Quest, from what I can tell, is the on-screen components. So the Quest is, I think it's $100 more, maybe $150 more. This is $549.99 MSRP. The step up is $649 or $699. It's the one that I have uh, with the lithium in it. And the only difference is that it has on-screen direction. So you can see where your camera's pointing under the water so you know where in your shack it's actually pointing. You can see depth and you can see water temperature. You can't see those on this, but this this even still has an HDMI out on it. So for 100 to $150 less, this actually might be a good option. And it's nice that it has the lithium battery in it because you're gonna be able to have the lighter weight and longer battery life.